So, so, it's your boy Don Liso. Live in the live, baby. I know y'all see the title and I know y'all see it on camera. It's your boy Don Liso with another YouTube video for you guys. As requested, I have brought with me the sock challenge for you guys. But before we get into that, I just want to thank you guys so much for the first 100 subscribers. Just you know, give yourself a round of applause. Did well. Um, so yeah, roots to a thousand, baby. So without further ado, let's get in the go. For the first sock ball challenge, I like to start with some normal juggles just to get my touch going. Um, I usually do up to about 30. And in terms of the barrier, I go four steps length and width, uh, but you can start with a normal barrier, but I usually use that, that one, but yeah. For the next sock ball challenge, we're gonna go to small to big touch juggles. I usually do about 20, uh, just using your left foot. This is a really good challenge to um, focus on your instep. So yeah, it's good in that aspect. The next challenge is the same as the one shown previously except now using your right foot. This really does focus on challenging your instep. Um, these challenges are actually really difficult but as you, as you practice it more they get easier. Next one are your inner juggles with both feet. This is actually one of my favorite drills because once you transition back into using the ball, it's actually a lot easier. Well, for me, yeah, it's a lot easier. For me, this is one of the most difficult drills because it's using my left foot, juggling a sock and um, yeah, in like a very close space, so yeah. Lol, nah, I changed my mind. This is actually my favorite one to practice. It's difficult, but it's one of my favorite ones to practice because once you transition um, to the ball, you actually, I feel like you're actually able to do more of it, so yeah. Now, of course, you have to do freestyle juggling. This is where it gets fun, like it's, it's fun. And so I really encourage you to at least pick a skill to, to try out with the sock and then do it for that particular day. That's what I usually do, so it's, it's really fun. Now this, this was where it really got interesting because um, I really wanted to um, challenge myself this day and do some walking juggles. Um, it may be difficult for some of you, but if you have a very big space, set a target. Um, try to reach that target because the feeling is, it's, it's big. You're like, I really was excited. Um, when I got to the end of this, this driveway, so yeah, you guys should try it. So guys, just to make things interesting for you, um, like I said with the wall drill, you should actually keep track of what you get um, with each exercise so that you know that you're improving on each of them. And yeah, you should let me know down in the comments what you get for each of the exercises. And yeah, maybe we could even challenge each other because it really is something fun to do because um, when you're playing with the ball, it's it's a bit easier, but like when you start challenging yourself with other objects like like socks or even even fruits, like it just it really just helps you transform the way you control the ball. Um, 
because like when I was juggling the socks, the transition from socks to the ball was, was incredible. I swear I felt like winning my own. Like it's <laughs> it's mad. So yeah, just just keep 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 that in mind. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't mess up on any bangers. I'ma see you on the next one. Peace out.